and just a general disruption to the school setting as a result of the influence of the videos that they're viewing online. Water fountains damaged, soap dispensers trashed, stuff stolen. In Boone County, eight students have been cited for it, and it's happening elsewhere, all for the sake of likes, comments, follows, and shares. And basically, young people all over our region and state and country are being influenced to make Really poor choices resulting in the destruction of property. Lachlan City School Superintendent Bob Longworth says the devious licks TikTok challenge is an alarming trend. In Middletown, there are more police officers in the schools because of the viral vandalism. So many children right now are starting to get frustrated with this challenge in school. Um, and they want their classmates to stop because they enjoy coming to school every day focusing in the classroom and being able to learn. The Southwest Local School District says Harrison High School restrooms have been vandalized. Students have been caught in three different incidents and two more are under investigation. They warn students could face charges and families could get repair bills. Mason City School Superintendent Jonathan Cooper says a small group is responsible in his district. Uh, it's frustrating because, I, like I said, we have great custodians and maintenance staff that are they work hard, and so to have to come back around and continue to fix those things um, can be a bit frustrating. They all say it's time parents talk with their kids to buck the trend. But it should be a challenge for all of us as parents to lean in and look at what's going on on social media with our kids. Now in Boone County, sheriff's officials say those eight who have been cited are charged with theft and criminal mischief. TikTok has confirmed it has banned all the content around this trend. Reporting live, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5. You mentioned Boone County there. Have you heard if charges have been filed in any other districts? So, Sheree, I made several calls today, found in Hamilton, Butler, and Warren County that no charges have been filed in these incidents, at least not yet. Why for us, Dan? Thanks so much.